Live. <laughs> that that was pretty difficult for you to do. <laughs> we are live. We are live, and we um, were gone last week. Kenny said John did okay last week. I thought John did fantastic last week. Um, I didn't watch it. We were flying. We were flying. We were flying, but I started watching part of it. And I hey, this really is job. on. So um, cool. I'll be on the chat. I John says this. I got my phone. Um, I guess. Sound check, video check. <laughs> is it working? Do we have sound? Do we have video? Any complaints? <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, silent. It is very silent. Um, we have Pete Concurrent, one person on. That is really good. And it, it was Andrew. I don't know if, shows, he, if um, he left us. Happy late Mother's Day, Kimmy Aww, says. Thank you. Oh, so look, some look people it. are jumping on. Yay. We got Omar. No sound. No sound. No sound. Um, sounds on right here. Sound mm -hmm. check, video check. No complaints from Omar's Omar. Omar's with us. Um, so sound should be on. So on your side, because as you can see, our sound bar is uh -huh. working. Sound check. See? Yeah. Um, so it must be on his side that he has no sound. Yeah. Um, hi, guys. That's my angel, Arch Penny. Angel Michael. Um, Ron Thrall's on. Hey, folks, you're live with sound. Bam. Hey. Good to go. I got so, sound, um, no video. Yeah, That's all good here. Good Paint this Fisher Painting Services um, from New Zealand. I've um, been there. And we want to go back. I've been there. We, I know that. <laughs> you tell me that. <laughs> we, we have a, a sheep skin from there. We do. We do. We do. Um, I didn't kill the sheep. But That's good. I bought it from yeah, somebody. No, New Zealand at, is an amazing country. I love that Jake place. said, where the heck were you guys yesterday? We got notification that Paint Live TV was going to be on and nobody showed. Um, yeah, that would be my fault. I okay. put in the wrong date. Oh. I put in today's show for yesterday's date, and that was a big mistake. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> so, um, Dad's yeah. with us. Oh, Cheryl's with us. So um, glad you guys are with us. Yeah, so kind of cool. So, um, yeah, we got John. John's on, and he's on the other end. Yeah. So. Yeah, we missed you guys last week, but we were traveling, and where we, we go. We went to Kentucky. It's a beautiful state. Oh my gosh, Kentucky is awesome. It's a really awesome. beautiful state. So we were Love really, that place. We really enjoyed going um, and seeing all the sites. And drinking some bourbon. Oh, I didn't do that. You didn't do that, huh? Nope, didn't you do had that. A, a week. You had a mint julep. I took one sip and still not not a fan of mint juleps. <laughs> That's, okay. <laughs> so um, we had a good time at the Kentucky Derby. We did. For three full days. Three days um, racing. It was It amazing. was a lot. It was a lot. The last um, day, two and a half inches of rain on me. You didn't make any money betting. I didn't bet. You did bet. They gave me 10 free dollars, and I played with that for a day and a half. And then when it was gone, I you I quit. deleted the app. And so I paid no money. <laughs> so, yeah, you lost no money. That's as yeah. good. So. Now, Louisville was a beautiful city, so we really enjoyed going going to Kentucky. So, Dan, um, guys should have gave a heads up. So, we did let people know we were going there. We did. And a and, couple of people said they'd meet up with us. And, and they never did. Yep. So, so we um, went to the ARC expedition and we saw one one guy there. Oh, we ran into somebody family. there. Yeah. yeah. So, Superior Painting, good evening um, from Fen Hot, Sunny Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Um, so, Kenny Sanders got you guys now. Um, who won the Kentucky Derby? I don't know. You don't know, huh? I don't know. How about Justify? That's that must be it. I almost won on a big bet I had with Justify and another horse, and, but, um, but it didn't happen. Yep. So, um, yep, Charlie Horse, but boom. But we're back, and our purpose is to educate and empower, equip you, and for us to learn from you guys. So we're glad to be about back. Yep. And we're excited to be gonna part answer, of this Paint Life community. And going to answer some questions tonight. If you have any questions, let us know. We are here to answer you. Paint Life Mafia. If you want to become a sponsor, get one of these super rad stickers mm -hmm. and a whole lot more. You get to be green. Yep. Those names are green. They're yep. sponsors. And Andrew, you get these. Kenny, um, Jake. Yeah, if you see these people in green and then they get these super cool e emojis. It's your right band. Photography, I say things so bad. Ichiban. Yeah. Did I? Maybe I didn't say it right either, but Ichiban is how um, Aaron G from Florida. Mm -hmm. So you end up, um, we are having a sponsors only live show this Thursday. 
So that's one of the one benefits. Of the benefits. And another benefit is most of you guys are aware we have the traveling trousers. Yep. And they are currently in Washington. We found them. We found they them. Appeared. Super excited. Yes. And so another benefit of being a part of the Mafia membership is, is that is where they're going to stay. They're going to stay within the Mafia community. Within the Mafia community. For a, for a while. Yep. So if you are part of the Mafia community or you're not, this is a good time to join. You will be one of the people getting the pants next. And if you want to know where they're at, just jump on our Instagram and you can see some pictures of where they've been discovered mm -hmm. and who has them and who's going to send them out next. And on Thursday, I'm not going to tell you, you got to go look at Instagram Thursday. We are going to be doing the live show and we're going to be cleaning out some of the stuff that's been given to us. So we're going to do a lot of giveaways. We got to give a whole bunch of stuff away because we have several bands of just, and um, and Kenny. stuff people send us and stuff and we just got to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And some of it's a bunch of big bulky stuff and we're just going to pay to just, Ship it all out and get rid of it. Yep. So if you're so, not a member of the mafia, those are two good reasons to join. If you want some products that we would never use and put in our vehicles, <laughs> come to that live show. But and there'll be some good stuff too. <laughs> so we just get all kinds of really cool stuff, weird stuff, and um, stuff that we just look at and go, yeah, we'll just toss that and give that away. And so we're going to give away some pretty cool stuff, and and you can test it yourself and then let us know what you think of it. So we're gonna give away a bunch of stuff. And you the only way that you can get it is it's our sponsors only live show, which mm -hmm. is once a month on a Thursday, every on once, one time 7 a month. 7 p.m. Mountain time. And it's only for on live sponsors, they can, they're the only people that can win stuff. And so secondly, we had a huge week because oh. McKenna is on the show and tell what She's was She's on huge. right now? Yes. I don't see her. Well, she, you didn't see the feed, but okay. why? What was big? She graduated. From she college. graduated from college. We had her um, birthday. Or, no, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not. Well, we, we had we, her graduation party. We had her birthday party when it was her birthday. That's in June. But we, yeah. yeah. So last June we had a birthday party, <laughs> but we just had her graduation party. Because so we've got two girls now that have made it through college and um, they survived. They're highly educated. Highly skilled now. Well, and it's a big thing <laughs> one's for a nurse, us. and one's going to be a um, healthcare administrator. Yeah. So there Jake you Starling go. has a question. I did an exterior T one eleven sighting and left the house looking great. Got a phone call, went back, and there are lines between sheeting, swelling. Not sure what happened. Were there lines between sheeting? Um, I'm not sure what, exactly what he's talking about. Hi, um, Brian. Jake, send me some pictures of what you're talking about because I'm yeah. not, um, I, I kind of have a, a picture in mind of what you're talking about, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to answer it wrong. Um, email me some pictures. You are one of our sponsors um, and I'll take a look at those pictures and I think I can answer your question. We've painted T111 siding, had success doing it. Hi, Rick. But you can run into some issues with it, but um, there you go. Aaron Singer said, tried the triple thick peel bond. It's horrible. Doesn't stay thick after it dries. Um, so triple thick peel bond. I've never heard of, we use peel bond. We use the XIM peel bond and we use prime RX. It's not called triple Everything thick. Too. It is super thick um, when it goes on, but like anything in any product um, through the evaporation and drying process, um, you have the liquid that um, evaporates, dries off, and you're eventually left with, you start off with a wet mill thickness, you end up with a dry mill thickness. Um, peel bond does, you know, it's, it's really super thin. high solids. It's thick when it goes on, but it does dry out into, you know, it's still a thick dry mill thickness compared to paint, but um, it does, you know, does you it. Can, you can compare it to like an Elmer's glue kind uh, of sometimes. I, mean, I call it Elmer's of. glue, but it's really, it is yeah. really thick. So I'm not, I'm not sure if there's another product out called triple yeah. thick, but I haven't seen. Maybe you can let me know, Aaron. So, so we have another thing that's going on right now. And it's not too late to sign up. The contractor summit. I don't know. It's for three days. Uh, if you're not part three of our um, email newsletter, we three have days. an email newsletter. Go to our website, theideopainter.com. Subscribe to our email newsletter. I send out newsletters, giving tips and tricks that that um, I write and stuff. And then, but I just sent one out. The contractor summit. John, journeyman John, you and I were 
one oh, of yeah. the guest speakers on That's the contractor true. summit. There's there's 20 speakers it's in this 20. summit. We're 20 contractors, highly successful contractors get together. I mean, we're just the low guys on the totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they called us up, asked if um, we would be guest speakers on the show. And this contractor summit is teaching you all aspects of becoming a successful businessman in the construction industry. And so um, we talked about uh, one subject. If you want to see us, um go it's, check it out it's um, free for 24 hours after after that they have different paid programs but it, it's free to watch it doesn't cost you anything john's on here yeah. he could put the link type the link to that it's contractor yeah. summit something john if you can type that in so people can see the link because it is free you can get on there like today it was all day today mm -hmm. um there was a whole list of speakers we are actually wednesday okay if you want to see us we're wednesday you i don't we're like kind of, of <laughs> mi kind of middle of the road down the list yeah. but if you want to see what um lisa has to say because you um sounded pretty good sounded pretty uh, intelligent gave some good advice John gave some really good advice in there. So if you want to hear what John had right. to say, so yeah. But there's 19 other speakers, so it's free. So much more important than we are and so much more intelligent, smarter than we are. And I, I mean, that's where, but we- You can wanted, hear us every day, but- um, But we wanted to be a part of it because that's what we're about. We want to yeah. learn. We want to share some information with people and- And we want to learn from the other 19. Help them grow their businesses and become successful. So yeah. Yeah, there's always something to learn. So, um, newsletter Luis Vegas did you, says, did you tell him um, how to sign up for the newsletter yeah just go to our website the Idaho painter.com and there's always a pop-up that pops up you just enter your email address and you can become um, uh, one of our subscribers to our newsletter and then when you get my newsletter um, I'm not sure why people subscribe to me and then spam me when I send them a newsletter mm -hmm. so like you know a certain amount of people will subscribe to the new desert yeah, I get it. maybe they just look at it and they just say that I'm just a painter and I don't know how to write, and so they don't like my articles. But I, I think I do a pretty good job. But um, I have some spelling errors here and there. You do, you do, and people <laughs> tell you that because I'm just a painter from that, Idaho. There's no so, just um, a painter because I can't be just a painter. Right. There's a lot to so, it. Well, a lot of skill. I try. Um, yeah. I wrote that newsletter while we were on the plane to Kentucky. And I was supposed to proofread it, and I never and got did. the opportunity. It's, and so I just it went out unproofread. It and did. so because they just wanted to get the information out. D yeah. D DIY Tech is on. Going to paint a light gray eggshell. Uh, new sponsor, Yay. Brian Wagner. So Brian's going to be with us on Thursday. And guess what? John doesn't know this, but he's going to be with us on the Thursday show. John, you didn't know John. you're going to be here Thursday. Thursday. So, um, and it's a it's a we sponsors really only show that has John. That's the one that journeyman John is mm -hmm. going to be on. Hi, so, Mark. Um, Mark Minton says, "Hey guys, so um, cool. Um, passion painting and murals. Well, that um, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that. Is. He's a sponsor. Yes. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. But Third Coast Woodworking. Hey, so Daniel's on." Hey Daniel, how are you doing? Down there in Texas, Galveston. So no, he's not um, in Galveston, but he's close. He's close. It's, um, what cleaner for power washing decks have you used in the past that worked the best, Chris? I just read that using bleach mixes are no good. Is that true? Well, a, a lot of the the cleaners are just a bleach mix. If you if you look at the ingredients, they're they're bleach. Um, some of them are oxalic acid, and um, but here's something. Um, I guess yeah, this company careful. sent it to us and we didn't just, I always say like we discovered it, but somebody sent it to us. It's called Miracle Mist mm -hmm. and this stuff was amazing. So Miracle Mist is, it's got bleach and some uh, some other stuff. When you mm -hmm. spray it, it, it smells like bleach. But um, if we did an Instagram video, we sprayed it on a palette that was gray and it completely like made it look brand new. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. So go look it up, Miracle Mist. It's a great product. We don't typically ever use chemicals when we power wash houses or decks. We, we don't, um, that's very, very rare. We always just use straight water. So um, I don't like using chemicals. I don't like um, the, the risking the chemicals, the mm -hmm. splattering the chemicals, getting them on plants, grass, and stuff like that. So just over the years, in the beginning of my career, we started using them didn't like it and then we haven't used them for mm -hmm. 12 years or so so but would miracle miss you use it in certain situations miracle miss we're going to use it on um we are going to use it in certain situations we were absolutely amazed by it and um we we're going to maybe sell it in our store too we might because we liked it so much we're going to get tested on a cabin up in mccall that we got on schedule we're going to spray on the cabin and see how well 
works on this huge log cabin. So we'll be giving it a test. So that'd be journeyman John that's texting. Um, how to bid decks. So, so how do you bid a deck? How, how to bid a deck is um, the not easy. And here, here's the thing about decks is um, there's a lot of liability, a lot of warranty issues with decks. And one thing you got to explain with people with decks in, in my uh, bid packet, we give on an exterior repaint, we give a five-year warranty. Mm -hmm. On a deck, we don't give any warranty whatsoever. Because okay. there's too many variables that come in up here. Snow could be sitting on the deck for you know months at a time, mm -hmm. and, and that can wreak havoc on the coatings and stuff like that. People could be dragging furniture on them that can scratch them, scuff them really easy. There's a lot of dogs could scratch them. Um, people could spill chemicals on them. They're barbecue. It's a lot more maintenance. It's, it's a lot of maintenance, and so we don't offer any warranty on decks. And I just look at a deck I don't have I don't take measurements or anything I just look at the project as a whole and I'm um, trying to determine how long that project's going to take to do it I know I know one thing we're gonna have to go there to power wash it and then after it dries we're gonna have to go another time to prep it and then stain it so uh, on a deck you're gonna be there twice so you got to figure you know at least you know probably two to three hours one day power washing it and then the other day you e even if it's only a four hour job you should be calculating that as a full day um because you know getting traveling there and, and then eventually you know leaving the drop site and traveling to another job site so decks we don't typically do decks for customers if it's just a deck itself we do decks more as a courtesy if we're painting the exterior then we give them a price on the deck same with fences too it's going to be cheaper if you're doing it with the house than just going out we by give yourself. them yeah we definitely give them a, a, a discount um when we bid the deck uh, you know because we're doing it with their house now if they contacted us out to um just do a deck it's really difficult when you're doing exterior repaints full repaints because mm -hmm. there's really good profit margins in there like 30 35 percent but on a deck the, the profit margin is going to be significantly less and it's really difficult to make money doing decks because mm -hmm. they're just small side projects you'd have to be doing you know back-to-back -back decks where you can get you know multiple decks you know, done in a day, unless you're doing some large, gigantic deck. And it's really weird because decks, people have a tendency to look at a deck and go, well, I can do that. So why is it so much money? Where a house is a lot more intimidating. Mm -hmm. You got ladders. You need a lot more specialty mm -hmm. tools. And most people just think they can do their own deck. So when they hear the price that we charge for a deck, they usually say, I don't know. So Ryan Petzl said, found out they're having a boy. Time to paint hey. the nursery. What's the status on it's the traveling time. paintbrush? Congratulations. We want to hear names. Cool. Uh, that's right. We were going to work on the traveling paintbrush. You know paintbrush, what? We, we just found out that the traveling pants. pants, trousers, is still going. And so, Chris, if you go to Instagram, um, you can see the shirt that he just came up with that's going to be sent to the people that... Um, I, now I'm getting distracted because you're reading. But what we're going to do is we got to get the pants and the shirt and that whole thing going. And then we are going to have and add the paintbrush. So I think that's a great idea. So Jake says we're being talked about on a forum that he's on. A few bad mouthed me and a few stuck up for me. Wow. I got some people bad mouth me and sticking up for me. You know, I I'm mean, being talked about. I mean, I, I think the reality is, is we have a goal and a mission and not everybody understands it. Exactly. I mean, you, and you can't you know, please them all. No, no matter what, you can't please everybody, make mm -hmm. everybody happy. And I learned that a while back. And so, you know what, um, those guys that are a little bit grumpy, um, that's just the way it is. Yeah. And maybe if they met us, they would have a smile on their face. And but be maybe, happy. maybe it's preparing you for politics. You never know. Oh yeah. Some people love you and some people hate you. You never <laughs> is, know. Is oil based stains the best for decks? I don't believe so. Um, Aaron G. So that, um, years back we used to use oil-based products and now the technology in products like the the um, polyurethanized water-based coatings for decks um they they bond to oil-based products so you don't have to strictly use oil-based products that their bonding capabilities are a lot better and the uv resistance is a lot better color retention is a lot better that the water-based technology in coatings for decks um log cabins is up we strictly use water-based products now it's um solid colors and semi-transparent stains and even the solid color stains that go on like woodscapes that go on decks or um, siding and stuff is self-priming on metals and stuff like that. So we don't use oil-based products 
really ever anymore. It would be a very, very rare case. I, oh my gosh, I can't stand getting oil based um, stains on my skin. I don't like breathing. I feel like it's in my nostrils for days. I feel like I get it in every orifice because yeah. it's so fine, so thin when you spray it and stuff. And and just uh, we used to use Penafin, which was an is an, it is an amazing product in mesmers. But man, you breathe that stuff and it's some nasty stuff. And we just got away from using it. And I, I just didn't feel like it um, from our testing and using it, it doesn't last as long as um, water-based products. So so um, you and John um, worked together today and I sent you to a house to do a color consultation. Can you, um, you share? Did what that was about and why we do them and the benefits of them yeah so um color consulting is an interesting thing because i've seen on some of our social media before where people make comments where they don't get involved with that because mm -hmm. um you know if you make the mistake if you recommend a color then it's on you and if the customer comes home and um and they don't like the color then it's your responsibility now and you're gonna have to repaint the thing and there is some truth to that so you do have to be wise you have to um understand you know lim the limitations in color consulting and what you know what your limit should be and your recommendations but here's the way i look at it and years um years ago i began looking at it like this and this is a true this is a true phenomenon this is really true if um you paint a house ugly colors mm -hmm. and do an amazing paint job the majority, probably 90% of the people that drive by are gonna say it's a bad paint job. If you use ugly colors, but do a good paint job, it's really weird. People, they they look at the colors and they think it's a bad paint job because of, co because of the colors. So now here's another phenomenon that's just, you flip it. If you do really good colors and do a crappy paint job, the people that drive by, they're gonna say that's an amazing paint job. It's an amazing phenomenon. So now, what we've done is years ago, long, long time ago, I decided I want to have a hand in choosing colors. I want to choose amazing colors and do an amazing paint job. Now everybody that drives by is going to say that's an amazing paint job and we're going to get highly recommended. That's my philosophy and the philosophy truly does work. And so we do a lot of color consulting. I would say we color consult on majority of our houses. Now, have I done jobs in the past where um, I chose colors and the customer didn't like it? They came home, they put it on me and um, I had to repaint it. Two in my career that I can recall where okay. I really ate it, where it was my responsibility. And I learned my lesson because the customer had a color chosen and I changed their mind completely. You don't want to do that. To another color. So you don't want to change their that. mind. Learn from Chris. So um, you don't want to change their mind. Right, American Christian. You, want, you want to help re Karen. reinforce them with their colors and um, help them in the choosing process. If somebody already has colors chosen and they're already, and you ask them, have you seen these colors? Do you sure you like these colors? Yeah, um, but they're really bad colors. You don't, you, you really probably wanna stand back and not change their mind. But if they say, I'm struggling with the colors, I need help with the colors, you wanna step in and give them guidance and direction. And I always start off by saying, what, what do you really want? Do you want a greenhouse, a blue house, a gray house? a brown house and i just start from there just giving them the basics you want a well, yellow house or red to go house? a step before you when i talk to customers because they'll say do you help with color consultations or do you help me finalize my colors and i say we will assist our customers however is needed and so um with that i say you know chris will look at your neighborhood he'll look at your houses he'll look at your landscape he'll look at your roof line you know colors and i say think about what color you want like chris was just saying mm -hmm. do you want a gray house blue house and if they kind of have an idea of what they're looking for and then Chris goes and talks to them, he could show them the nice grays, not the ugly grays. He could show them the nice blues, you know, and he could talk to them. I mean, haven't you had houses where you're like, yeah, you're gonna have a pink house. <laughs> yeah, because people are like, I mean, we see it Sometimes. every day. We have, we see color chips like this every day and we know what this little chip is gonna look like on a very large house. So yeah. mo most people don't, you know, they're not able to picture that, envision that in their mind. So we're able to give them guidance. So once they tell me, say they like a gray house, I know like all the grays. I can give them five grays that I know are popular grays, something that they're probably gonna like that's gonna be very sellable, and I can steer them in the right direction. And I'll whip open the fan deck, I'll spread it open, and I'll first say, you know, do you see any grays or blues or browns or what? 
point to something that you like. Mm -hmm. If they point to something, I'm like, well, that's kind of more like an interior color. Let's look at this. This is probably more of an exterior color. And then when we start to look at the grays, like you said, I look at specific things. Okay, okay, this is this is a good gray. And I just start with the body of the house. Everything will come after the body. So once you determine the body, everything's easy. So I'm gonna look at that color and say, do you like this color? Yeah, we like this color. Do you want it lighter or darker? Do you and talk about like what the base color is for fade resistant? Like what's gonna give them the most last also? I mean, I, that's kind of, um, you know, you can, you can get it. I get in, I don't get into that with a lot of people, mm -hmm. but um, if they, if they did choose a color that's really dark, I would say, you know what, that's pretty dark for the body of their house. It's probably going to fade really fast. That's more of an accent color. So if you want, want to move up and I usually say, these are the three colors on the fan deck right here. This would be best for the body of the house. Mm -hmm. Now I look, okay, is the house on this, this, the left side, the house on the right side, is is that the same color? We don't want to be the same color. And then I look at the two houses across the street and I take that into consideration. Then I go, okay, they want a blue house, but yet they got a green roof. I'm going to say, that is it. You know, that's probably not a good option. If you got a green roof, we're kind of limited on our colors. You'll see brown, like these tan roofs, and you're really limited in colors if you got a tan roof. I wouldn't be doing um, probably a gray house necessarily with a tan roof. I'd be more in the tan range. So I'm looking at that. And when uh, I'm choosing a front door color, I'm looking at, say, some the landscaping, some bushes walking up to the door. Do they have red barberries? I'm like, you know, a red door might accent, you know, these red colors. So there's a lot of these things I'm taking into consideration. You're looking at the big picture. The big you're picture looking at the them. big picture of their house, yeah. their neighborhood, yeah. and what goes. And then you're kind of guiding them. But big lesson learned from Chris. If somebody says, this is the color I love and you think it's horrible, don't talk them out of it. Don't, don't talk them out of it, but you're, you're kind of, I'm, this you is the rule of thumb is you're kind of just guiding them and mm -hmm. directing them. And then you're, 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 you're presenting it in front of them and you're, you're saying, what colors do you like? And I always tell them, this is, this is very yeah. key. This is critical. I always say that ultimately you live in this house yeah. and you have to like the colors. It has nothing to do with me. I don't live here. Yeah. And so you have to choose something that you like and I will help you guide you, know, you in those colors. So another good um, option is I'll, I'll say, have you seen any houses you know, around that you like these colors at and I'll go color match it if you like a house. But then if they go, okay, yeah, I like this house down the street, but this house is a completely different architectural yeah. style than your house, it, it, the colors might not work. And so you can't just go color match in the house, throw it on their house and expect it to look the same, have the same feel and stuff like that. So there's there's a lot that goes into color design. Yeah. And so um, so I was out with John and working with John with that today. And so we did a color consult with a lady today. And, and you, you know. Um, she kind of had a color in mind in you guys. Did you guys put color up? Because I know I sent we, you with some color. We didn't put any color up. Okay. I mean, the gray that she had chosen I liked the gray that she had chosen right off the mm -hmm. bat. I thought maybe, you know, maybe it could be a little bit darker, but she liked it. I didn't want to, I didn't really want to get into changing her mind because mm -hmm. she had already chose a color that I thought that was, um, was good. She, it was interesting. She had an interior, a, a designer, um, choose colors for her. And I didn't think that the colors were very good at all and neither did she. So it was interesting that the designer chose them. And I just thought, ah, those aren't, I mean, I, colors, I think but. that's the thing is, is, you can know what's in style, but it's really getting to know the person and get a feel for what they're looking for. Yeah. And what are some ways, like if you don't feel confident, like I don't know how to direct people to colors, is there anything like Pinterest or anything like that that you can start looking? Pinterest is, is a great place to look what are the current styles right now. Mm -hmm. Get on Pinterest and just go, um, just type in current house colors and you'll see what's trendy and what's cool and you'll start to get a feel for you know, what looks good and what look good. You don't have to have a degree in color design. You don't have to add edu education in color design. I, I don't have an education in that. It's just a matter of just, you know, looking at a lot of colors and eventually seeing the houses you're painting, stepping back and going, you know, looking at well, why does this color scheme look good? What works? What doesn't work? I mean, here's some things you, you always got to take in. What people don't do is take and consider the stone and the rock on the house. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to take oh. these things into consideration. So passion painting and murals. Oh, is he on. has a question. Hello from Green Bay, Wisconsin. When do you think the first Academy class will be? So we Coming have. Coming soon. We're working on it. We have a date set and mm. the announce. Yeah, we do. We do. 
Okay, we're getting close. We're it's going to be um, we're we're we've got the whole curriculum. Everything's worked out. Our document is worked out. What it looks like. What you're going to get. It's pretty much done. We're sending it out to um, hopefully to some sponsors and stuff to be getting some free product to give away. So we're working it out. Hopefully, I think we might have it going out in a week or so. Okay. The announcement. But we're gonna so, all all go over it together. But yeah. So it's um it's. It's coming. It's going to happen very soon. We are very excited. So be looking for that. It's like a six page document. That's our, um, John's been working, working hard on it and getting it all lined out to show you exactly what you're going to get for, um, two and a half days of, um, educating. And then we're, um, working on our building, which is going slow still too. Yep. So, so happy wife home services says, what's the best way to color match for touch ups without knowing the name of the color on an interior wall. Um, that's a very difficult process. So if I'm on an interior wall, um, the best thing to do is we find an inconspicuous, I guess that's an inconspicuous spot, like, like closet. inside of a closet. We cut out a piece of the drywall, like on the backside of a wall, we take it down to a um, paint store and um, you can get bad color matches and you can get good color matches. We know, I know like two guys in our valley that are good, that will give you a good color match. The rest of them, I think are going to give you an average to um, not good color match. So you have to, um, you know, get in touch with, you know, uh, and find somebody that's good at color matching. Majority of places you go to, like your big box stores and stuff, you walk in there, Lowe's, Home Depot's, all the place, they're going to throw it on the computer, color eye, but whatever comes out, that's what they're going to give you. They're going to mix in the paint and you'll never be able to do touch ups with it and stuff. And it's, it's kind of just an average color match. It has to be done by the computer. Then uh, you, then human eye has to begin the adjusting process from there to get it. You'll never get it to the point where you can touch up in the middle of a wall from a custom color match and not see it all. It's literally impossible. Once you get the custom color match done, there are certain touch up techniques that we know as professional painters. We've got some videos on it to how to touch up and get the best results and you'll have to do that. So Ron Thal said, exciting tip to share. I've shared it before. I purchased a color sensor. It's amazing. It uses all the major companies. It's called NYX. You can use artwork, fabric, previous paint. It's amazing. So um, what's funny, he just said that John and I just tested one today and we took it out and used it. Was it and, a mix? Um, I, I don't know if it's, I think that's what John called. It's the little round thing. And um, I've used it in the past before, tested in the past. It has its limitations. So we took it out to test it on a house. Um, it does really cool with like, like you see, um, fabrics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It comes up with really cool colors that go really good with the fabrics and stuff like that. It, if you put it on a fan deck, it's dead on every time it okay. tells you the exact color. It's amazing. Now, when you put it on the side of a house, we were getting mixed results with it on Shading the side of the house. And lighting I, I mean, it would come up with um, on, on the same, we were trying to do that, the trim, and it was coming up with the same combinations, but they were, we were seeing like the four, same four colors, maybe like four times in different orders every time we would do it. Mm -hmm. And um, on the trim, which is a light color, it was coming like close. The color I did with a fan deck that I was pretty sure it was dead on, which was Shoji White. It had that like fourth and um, it showed up fourth on there, which that was the closest color. On the darker body side, on one of the dark colors, it was way off in one of them. On one of the medium colors, um, the first choice, it was almost almost dead on. The second mm -hmm. time we did it, it was kind of off a little bit of shade. So here's here's the thing with that thing is um, you, you can't fully trust it 100% because if we would have trusted it on the shakes, the darker color, we would have been way off. And you have to cross reference it with a fan deck. Okay, so if it gives you a color, it. you gotta you gotta check with the fan deck, check the fan deck on there. So here was my thing to John was, well, if I gotta cross reference it with a fan deck, why don't I just use the fan deck? And why do I why do I um, why would I use both of what's them? What's the value of so it? So what's the value of it? The value to me, the value. Not good with colors. So if um, if you're trying to color match an existing like house an existing surface that has texture to it um the house itself or has fading it has dirt it's limited but if you got a um smooth thing if you got a car like this and you want one of these colors on here it's really good and something like that if you wanted to know what this color is you would put it on there it would give you 
a color off the fan deck that was pretty dang close to that. Uh -huh. So that's where it really works. So there's things where there's a it, place where, for it. There's a place for it. But if you uh, if a color you're uh, the house they wanted us to paint it the exact same colors. It was painted ten years ago. Um, you could not trust it to give you the colors. You're better to use a fan deck. So, but I, but I think um, with that one suggestion also is if some a customer says I want to color match my house, why don't you color match it and then show those colors to the customer and say this is what I came up with, and then have them approve them or not approve them because if you don't have them approve those colors. That could be trouble for you in the future. We've gotten snake bitten on that one a few times. And you don't before. want that to happen. You yeah, don't want so. that to happen. So always, if you have any questions of, is this a good color match, take it to the customer. And if they say, you know what, I like that color, that's good, then purchase the product. We, we have a, um, in our bid packet, we have a color form that the customer is supposed to fill out and sign off. Mm -hmm. And we're not, we're not, you know, good enough. We don't always get it signed, but in order to save yourself if you once you choose the colors uh -huh. or once the customer chooses the colors or accepts the um the color match you write them down have them sign that and that's the acceptance so if things went wrong you can say you signed it and we're not liable for it now i mean we would never Good play that game service. with the customers i mean th there's been i mean one time you know we painted the house the wrong color the color the customer showed up and we're like <laughs> it was our mistake and we're like and the customer panic we're like there's no need to panic it's <laughs> only repaint. noon yeah we repainted the whole thing before the day was even over but the other the other couple i talked about we just repainted the house it's not that big of a deal and yeah. once it's been painted i mean it's still master you don't you don't um, want to have that to happen too often yeah. in your career and so that's just my tip is if you are doing a color match have the homeowner confirm it before you buy here, here, the product. here's two here's two things that you don't want to make make a mistake in business always get 50 percent down before you start a paint job before you start a paint job get 50 percent down and then get your color signed off those are two things that will save you major heartaches in the future and then have your estimate signed have a signed estimate that they've you know read it and they signed it off three things three documents mm -hmm. um right there um three tips those were for free but another thing is as we talked about pinterest you know a lot of the big paint stores they are on pinterest and they have like colors of the year colors of the season they do so you know but uh, <laughs> they, they do they do and, and I mean, um just to some of those open. are marketing um ploys and stuff like that just that, but some of them are good colors yeah. um uh, uh, the, I, I don't like to me the paint stores. I like Pinterest, where you just get a lot of designers and stuff sharing ideas. That's really really good. But mm -hmm. sometimes the paint stores come up with crazy stuff. Just yeah, but I mean, I think ultimately they have so many fan decks. I saw one person said that Sharon Williams does color consultations, and so that's interesting. Um, I don't know. We like doing it ourselves. And somebody asked you, do you charge? And so, so I, I do have. Um, I use I used to offer color consulting if I didn't paint your house for $150 for color consulting. Mm -hmm. I don't anymore because I'm too busy. Yeah. So um, I do, we do, if, if you, if I did the color, if you accepted the bid you, and I did color consulting with you and then you backed out of it, you know, technically uh, you should be paying me the $150. We've never enforced it, but mm -hmm. um, it's just a customer service thing. I don't do it anymore, you know, as a surface outside of customers that have signed. Once they sign an estimate, then we will do the kind of color consulting. Yeah. When I go out to do an estimate for people or meet with customers before any signed document, I don't do any color consulting for them. Because um, people will ask, they'll say, you know, we want a paint estimate and we want a color consultation. And I just explained to our um, people when they're calling for a bit, I say, you know, we will give you a paint estimate. And if you want to go with our company and your job is scheduled and you sign the estimate, we will assist you however needed. You know, and Chris has, he's gone up to houses and color match them. You know, he's driven around with people. I mean, we'll do whatever it takes to help them um, get a color that they're happy for. It's a Not big purchase for them. Whatever it takes. Well, I mean, within reason. Within reason. Yeah. So um, Jake or was it? Um, yeah, Jake Jones. Have you ever had a customer not make final payment? We've had a, a couple. Um, two or three in our career that didn't in make sixteen payout. years. In, in sixteen so not, years, not too much. So um, I, I don't even think we've had um, five total. No. I think it's been like maybe three or four, and 
we walked away from it. I don't get, I don't get time to go to court and deal with it. I don't get time if the customer doesn't pay. I mean, obviously we tried to pursue getting payment and stuff like that, but eventually it's going to take too much time and effort to follow. That's why if you've gotten 50% down, the sting is not as bad. So yeah. do not make, there, there was a couple of times we didn't get the 50% down and then didn't get paid. And then the sting is really bad. So at least a 50% down, if your profit margins it's, are right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cover your labor. It's going to cover your materials. your materials and stuff but yeah, i'm not i mean by the time i go to court waste my time in court and stuff like that i could have painted three houses and made up for it so mm -hmm. we just walked away from it and a couple of them were okay. um some of the most wealthiest people in the treasure valley that's another us. issue that's another issue really yeah <laughs> well it's an issue it, well, so um it's we, getting we have, stiff we have, by the wealthy <laughs> Wow. Anyways, a lot of wealthy people is... have paid, so we're not going to stereotype. <laughs> I, I didn't. I'm not stereotyping. Yeah, I'm just saying did. they. Not uh, too. They were two wealthy people. Okay, that's fine. Well, that it doesn't even matter. It's not that a, could afford to pay us. So, but they chose um, not to. Right. Character doesn't isn't defined by the amount of money you have. Um. Let's see, JJ. What's your favorite new tool this year? So, um, I mean, one of our. Let's see, one of our. The, um, the two edge knife um, that we sell in our store. That was, we um, were introduced to that this year. And now we like it so well, we put it in our store. We're selling tons of them. What is it? The two edge knife. Is it back there? Um, I don't know if we have, yeah, yes, we do. Sir. I see um, it. And that, yeah. that's, um, it's awesome. So, also, we have this sitting here and I'm wondering why. Is there a reason this is sitting on our desk? No, there's no reason really. Okay. You sell it at um, your store. What is it? Uh, that's uh, we don't sell that one. That's Aqua Coat. It's a grain. We don't sell this one. We sell this is the liquid form, but um, um grain filler. So when we're doing cabinets, oh, it's what's well, sitting yeah. on our um right there. Yeah, the it's wood grain filler, and we've used. I've used several grain fillers in the past for filling oat grain on on kitchen cabinets and mm -hmm. stuff. And a lot of them were just an absolute nightmare mess and stuff. And we eventually found this product called Aqua Coat, and um. It it's worked for you? Oh my gosh, we really like it. It's clear, dries extremely fast. You can put multiple coats on in a day, two, three, four coats. Um, sand them right away within 30 to 45 minutes. And um, and it goes right over the top of you know, bare wood or stain. And then you prime it and paint it. And this stuff is Did amazing. Did you put it on our front door? Um, not our front door, no. Okay. No. <laughs> um, so here's the two-edge knife right here. This is... Um, one of, this is crazy. This thing is super cool, super rad. So it's just, it's a knife right here. It's got a, um, an exacto blade on it. It's got your five in one tool on it. It's got, you know, a loop on it. It's got a, um, screwdriver on it. So this is, and it's actually crazy. It's made super, super well, easy to function. Blade comes out really easy. And we've been selling them like crazy on our store, diopainter.com. So that's what this is a cool tool. Well, that Superior really Painting like. says Sherwin Williams color consultation is not free. I'm curious, how much are they, and is it worth it? Do they do a good job? Are you happy? Do you use that service? It's interesting because I've to, never even heard they do color consulting. And, you know, but um, all the markets are different. Paper. Yeah, so and you're saying that we ask for half down, and that's something that you know we're learning from other people in different states. In Pennsylvania, it says they're only permitted to get a third down, That's and in North thing. Carolina, they're only per allowed to get thirty percent down. So you know, every state is different. So it's important to know what your state laws and regulations yeah. are if you're going to do business in those states. Um, because I, I would get the maximum that your state would allow up to fifty percent. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, I just think. I mean, the, here, here's the thing: is I mean they have to trust you and you have to trust them exactly i mean you're you're not only putting out material and labor trusting that they're going to pay you and they're you know putting out 50 percent down trusting that you're going to come back and do a quality, good quality job mm -hmm. so there's mutual trust if there is no mutual trust on one side the the, the agreement should never be made. You should never enter into the contract. You should go your separate ways. We've learned that in the is, past. Is it like if, once a year we get a not a good fill and we realize we shouldn't work for somebody? And, and we, we and don't. We, and we don't. Um, 
And then, and we do get a couple a year that say, well, I'm uncomfortable, ex, you know, paying for the 50%. Yeah. And we, we explain to them, it's just a simple process of explaining to them, look, we're A plus cert, um, um, certified better business bureau. You know, we've been in business for 17 years. We're, we're five star rated on Yelp, Google plus Facebook across all social media. You our ratings, <laughs> our, our customer service means everything to us. Look, look at our webpage, look at our um, recommendation, look at us on Good Neighbor. We're not going to jeopardize any of that for what a few one thousand deposit. dollars for one deposit we would never do that and so and and then you you um begin to work them through the mutual trust thing where look i gotta trust you and you gotta trust me and if we don't have you know that relationship then we probably shouldn't do it's, business they always understand and they always pay i've never had um a customer ever say you know what and after that conversation uh -huh. i'm not gonna pay the 50 percent. we've never once look so. at brooke brought you that brush it was mother's day and she bought you that um yeah i'm not sure because i wasn't the mother but i know um, it's <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a really cool brush. How old it's, do you think um, the picture says 1938? It, it's not, yeah, I don't I'm sure think it's, it's not 1938, old. but I don't know what they would have used it for. It says um, water paintbrush. So to me, it's I don't know what you would. Um, what do you think it's made out of? It's never been, um, it doesn't look like it's ever even been used. I, I thought it was for spreading like wallpaper glue. Oh, um, but, I am going to go turn on the air conditioner because I'm dying. Uh, she's dying. Um, so, you know, the question was asked too, here's something else, um, a new tool or new product. Here's something, um, John and I started using these things just re recently, True Swipes, and they're originally created and designed to test for oil-based paints. And if you go into a house and you don't know whether it's oil-based or water-based, whether you need to prime the gloss, what you need to do to get your top coat to bond correctly, this thing is simple and easy to use. Oh, I got an open one here. There are these swabs right here, and you would just take out the swab. They got them in swabs and swipes. You would rub it on there just for a few seconds, and it's going to tell you whether it's oil based or water based. But what's amazing is this is uh, I call them run fix because if you get a run while you're spraying your trim that day or the next day after that, it's not going to work. But these things will um, wipe out a run without even sanding using bondo or anything and we've been testing them and it truly works we've used it on um, multi-surface acrylic on painting vinyl windows it worked we've done it on trim on interior interior trim we've used it on doors and stuff they truly work that's they're what amazing. they call true they're called two true swipes. true swipes and i think they should be called run fix but well, maybe. um but they um we sell them we like them so we sell them on our store mm -hmm. now and so if you're a painter and you're dealing with oil-based paints and stuff, you need a uh, quick test. They're cheap. They're only like 25 cents for the little swabs. I don't know if I got any. So, well, and what's nice is they don't take up a lot of space uh, and they're not very they expensive, don't. but they're very handy. And so we like candy things. If you want more than a couple of them, they come in a box right here. And here's a box of them. And they're only 25 cents for a wipe. And I know somebody said one time, oh, it's just a... Um, it's just denatured alcohol, but it's more than just denatured alcohol. So um, it, it's a, it's denatured alcohol doesn't work um, eliminating the runs like these do. I don't know what the magic is in them. So but it's, we have mailed some off. So if you received them from us, let, let us, us know. know what you think. Um, I think that would be a good giveaway tonight. We were really not going to do giveaways tonight because we were saving all our giveaways for Thursday night for our Paint Life Mafia only live show. Yep. Paint Life Mafia only live show. We're gonna do giveaways. True swipe. We'll true um, swipe. we'll send you um we're gonna send out a handful of true swipes to some people. We'll give some handful. a handful of them right handful. here. You can um handful of two swipes right there. We'll give you a handful of the wipes and the swabs to test out for yourself. Yeah, we want it we want to hear because obviously we just were exposed to them and we really liked them. And so we want to know what you think, but there we want go. to make them available in our store for you guys. Yep. So we'll give away some of those and give away some stickers. If I have some stickers right now. Okay. I so do. how are we going to give them away? How are we getting, it looks like people are already picking up numbers. Oh, so I guess we'll just do a number, huh? Is there some numbers on, on one of these true swipes anywhere? Okay. We'll do, so there is a barcode on the back. Then the last two digits of the barcode will be the winner. Okay. There you have it. The last two digits of the barcode. You can text that to John and um, 
painting vinyl windows can void um, window warranty, heat warping, etc. Would you probably know that already? I'd be careful within warranty period and all. And yes, we are aware of that. So same um, painting vinyl siding. Um, you got to use vinyl safe vinyl colors. Safe it can colors. warp the colors. The windows that we just painted, vinyl windows, they were painted previous to us. And we just repainted them the same color because they were faded. So we very rarely paint windows. That's mm -hmm. um, do not like doing it myself. It's labor intensive. There's a lot of issues with them sticking and closing and we don't do it, but this was a customer we've done a whole lot of painting for and um, inside they were now previously painted and they were previously painted by um, the builder who ordered the wrong windows and just painted them um, after they installed them. So and we painted his it. house and he didn't even realize they were painted until we painted the house well, and realized that, they were they, they were all faded. Somebody. I explained to him why they were faded. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. So there you have it. Too. Yeah. So did somebody guess it? Yes, somebody did. Hey, um Brian Wagner. Brian Wagner is the winner. The number and was ten. No, it's not. Was that? It was eleven. The last two digits. Yeah, it's eleven right there. Do you see that digit right there? That's not part of the barcode. Oh really? Yeah. All right. That's what I told Don. Okay, you picked it. <laughs> Eleven. So Brian Wagner, there's he his wants to stripes. argue with me. He's um, a little. So and we gotta but, give away some but stickers. Brian Wagner had he's he's a mafia member and he he has a new mafia he, member. So he had a question. He has an important job opportunity. I have an important job opportunity. It's for a lottery home, and I have to stain eight wood beam rafters, and I need a decent price. How long do you think it would take one person eight wood beam rafters? I how assume tall? that's inside the home. How so high? how high and are how they? Um, yeah, Brian, send me a email me a picture, a picture. Brian, um, and I can give you what we would do it for. Yeah. So um, and so you're gonna need to email us, obviously. Email me a picture and then email me a picture of do what do they have anything on them now? Are they bare wood? Are they previously coated? What are they previously coated with? And then you say you want um you want to let's see a decent you want let's see you want to stain them. Do you need do you want to stain them and clear coat them or just stain them with an interior stain? Do you want semi-transparent or solid color? Um let me know and I'll tell you what us, the paint life crew, would do it for. So premier painting and services, I really like them. So I'm wondering if that's the true swipes. Pro I think it them. probably is. Mm -hmm. um, so Brandon Mitchell is the one that says, be careful with the windows. That's a good tip, Brandon. Mm -hmm. So, um, oak, so Brian okay, definitely thank you so much. Brian, um, bare wood, and so they're bare wood and sanded. Um, so I will contact you, email, thanks. Um, and they are installed. Let's thank see, you, are they installed or on the ground? So that's a good question. So I guess the picture would show us that if yeah. they're already installed. Yeah. So um, Ron, for all, um, that's a good point. So um, it would have been way easier. It probably would have been one third the oh, money or less if they would have stained them and then installed them. Yeah. But then there's a lot of different things um, that could have you know um, been um, contract uh, your new nickname. Let's see, Jaina Daniels. Thanks for being with us. That's John's on there. So any other questions? What? Um, any other questions I need to answer? Any <laughs> well, I mean, to sum up, the can, can you do a video on all the different solvents like paint thinner, lacquer thinners, and, and the specifics use of them for painting? Um, there's so many of them. That is actually a really good idea, Victor. Um, you know what, John? Write that down. John is like a chemical guy. He's like a spec guy. He's like um, really smart. Yeah, he he liked reading up on stuff and like that. And so he that's, will be, that's a good um, video. If you're not a mafia member, this is your chance for four ninety nine to join the mafia and right. get your sticker and come to the Thursday night show and talk to him. All about solvents. So yeah, you can come and um, on the sponsors only show. Obviously, because it's sponsors only, there's not many people, and only sponsors can ask questions and get questions answered. Um, it only costs four ninety nine to become a sponsor, so become a sponsor, and you get to be green. And then you get that little that little icon, that mm -hmm. mafia icon. Yeah. And um, by your name, you you also if, when you go to hit the sponsor button right by the the subscribe button, it tells you everything that comes with it. Because there's a bunch of other you you get. I um, mean, not that you even care, yeah. but you get a picture of me, but oh, I got to cover Jayden the code. Haley. You get 20% off your on Thursday. purchase on Paint Life. 
So, so um, somebody said they were going to bid. Who's um, on? Pro Finish Regina says have to bid a school and her recommendations for Sherwin Williams paint to use in the bid. And the thing is, a school? Yeah. Um, exterior, interior, that would be good to know. But for us, they have such a range of products. And some, you may be cheaper, but they're going to be horrible to work with and not give a good finish. And so we never recommend skimping and using the cheaper products. We never use cheap products on anything. No job we do. But when it comes to a school, my first question is, I'd be asking her, what's the specs? I mean, do they yeah, have, they do they have, have specs. specs of no or low VOC paints? No or low? It's interior. Um, no odor. So like um, there are no up. odor paints. There's no VOC paints. Yeah. You know, my, um, with all the kids coming and going um, and all that stuff, I'd be really concerned about some of those things. I'd be concerned about odors and VOCs, and I would be looking at probably bidding, bidding it with um, a product that that's not going to be an issue. So I would just look into that. But their and, specs are. Um, some of those products are a lot more expensive than um, some of the anti-microbial paints. Um, Tyler just mentioned that, and that's and another great that. option. And um, those paints truly do work. We've tested them before. They have really strong odors, though. Oh my gosh! I we she painted. said holiday time repaint, but still you want. Um, the there's going to be a lot of times where it's going to be cured, and there's going to be a lot of cure time, time for odors and all that stuff to go away. I, I would just, I would ask that question to whoever you're bidding. Do you have recommendation specific recommendations? Yeah, usually they do have not. specs. So if they don't have specs, we really like Sher Williams Cashmere. That mm -hmm. would probably be the product I would be choosing to paint it with is casual. Is that a low VOC or no VOC? It's a low VOC. I don't believe it's no VOC. It's a low VOC, um, highly durable product, covers very well, splatters very little, and it would be good um, for that. But then like high traffic areas, you know, what are their expectations for cleaning walls and stuff like that? Just kind of, you know, um, ask them some of those um, questions. Are we just go down. Somebody asked, what PSI do you do a power washer with? So with pressure? we have a, our power washer goes up to 5,000 PSI and we usually run it at full pressure. Mm -hmm. And very rarely do we turn the pressure down only when we're doing like a DAC with um, our multi-surface cleaner on a DAC do we mm -hmm. turn the pressure down. So it's right. usually running full pressure, um, which means stay away from the house because you can do a whole lot of damage. Um, and yeah. if, um, you know, you got to teach your guys, you start way back and as you get comfortable, get closer and closer, begin to learn the distance because you can, um, and we have um, had guys damage a whole lot of screens, siding, I mean, stuff like that. So Yeah, I found out the one them. hardware store that re-screened screens. Yeah, there was one um, one time we were off on vacation and um, some one of our guys power washed the house and we had to replace every screen on the house. Oh. How pretty power washed it. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Drew. <laughs> um, memories. Did, no, that was somebody else. You did a video or something, and you you thanked John, thanked an employee for numbering. Oh, that was Matt. So, oh, that was Matt. Yeah, Drew was the one that did the um, the um, the window screen. So, yeah. oh, let's see, let's see. Any other questions? Austin Murphy is how we chose. Don't don't try to wash the mud off your shoes. That could be really bad. So, um, with the pressure washer, yeah, and here's some. Um, oh, Ralph, so thank here, you. We have a new sponsor, so you got to be at our Thursday show. Here's something somebody brought up. So, when it comes to yeah, don't take the power washer and try to clean your shoes while they're on because you're <laughs> really, and then, oh. um, here's a big warning paint, you know, airless sprayers and paint injection from an airless sprayer can <laughs> actually kill you, yeah. So, um, here I got something right in my wallet right here. I, I won't show you all the money I have in there because I'll I, take it. Because I don't have them, because like, every time money gets in there, my wife takes it or my kids it. sniff it out and take it. But here's something that you should keep in your wallet. So if you ever get paint injected in you, you want to carry this. This comes, you know, attached, you know, on the hoses to your sprayer. This. And um, that's the packet it comes in. But this, when you get rushed to the hospital, this tells the doctors how to treat you. Um, this could save your life. Wow. And you probably didn't even know that was in my wallet and probably I nobody know. else knows. That's so good to let loved yeah, ones know. So it probably doesn't even matter. But I, I keep it in my wallet in case one of my guys, you know, um, got injected with paint. Do you talk I to heard, them about that a lot? I Every day. Every day? I don't. 
Um, That's I, a huge safety. It is a huge safety thing. Important medical information. And um, I started carrying my wallet because it is important. I'm going to start talking to him about it and yeah, explain it's very it to important. him. So I've talked to John about it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And and so if I ever heard one of them was getting rushed to the hospital, I would rush to the hospital myself, take this down there and hand it to him. I'm sure the staff is trained to know that stuff, but you never know. Okay. It could save their life. Yeah. Don't it's, throw it away. It's hook. It's attached to that. We always rip everything uh -huh. off the hose and throw it away. It's on there for a reason. Um, but there you have it. Uh -huh. um, I would show you all the money once again, uh -huh. but there is no money. Yeah. Because I lost all my money at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> and I don't bet, so um, I'm good. Somebody wanted to know where you get the pressure gauges from. I think it was Titan. Is you can there. order them. Go to Titan's website. You can order them from Titan's mm -hmm. website. Go to um, your paint store, and you can order them from your paint store. Mm -hmm. um, they don't sell them. like Just stock them right there, like the local paint stores we have. You can go in there, and they can order them themselves. They can order them for you. Mm -hmm. Those things, the, the Titan HEA gauges are awesome. You, they have an HE, a green little thing where the gate, where the tip should be running. You need to have that if you're using HEA tips. Okay. Um, it's eight o'clock already. <gasps> so we have a couple stickers, and Let's then give away some so stickers. we're gonna have a couple stickers, and then. Um, Thursday night, we have new sponsors, so let's thank them. Doug Pearson noticed that John had his hand wrapped up the other day. Mm -hmm. um, Gardening rain on it. What was that? Gardening. Rain on a painted deck. See, that's the thing is we have a chance of rain this whole week, and we have somebody that wants us to do a concrete stain and decks. We won't do it. We won't. I mean, we never, we, we never do a deck unless the forecast has completely sunny mm -hmm. for at least two days. We do not. If it says any chance of rain, we will not attempt to do we'll a do. deck. We're going to so, do stickers right now. Snickers. Snickers. Stickers. We can give away Snickers too. Okay. Well, we don't have Snickers. Well, you could go buy some Snickers. Oh, I could do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to pick the first two people that pick this number. I just sent it to John. So two people have to pick that number. The first two people will get two stickers sent to them. So Adam two Kane different. says he paints as a side job, says we help him out. It's awesome. Oh, good. Thanks so, for letting us know. Um, Mac Miller says give away some Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give away stickers and other people. I like Snickers. You should have did Snickers <laughs> instead of stickers. Oh. Um, there it goes. There goes the oh feed. Oh my gosh! One through fifty. One through fifty. I don't see it yet, but I gave it to John, and so hopefully he'll see it. Um, what time is the Thursday sponsor show? Seven p.m. Mountain no, time. The spon the the Thursday sponsor show is at six. Oh. Sorry. We did it. We did a survey and asked people, okay. you know, what day and time would be the best. And six o'clock is what. And we John came will up. be here. And John will be here. If you want to see Journeyman John in yep. person, he'll be his live. Sidekick. He exists. He does. He's not just a robot. He's magic. He will be here. <laughs> so make sure. Let's thank our new sponsors. We, um, we got some new sponsors. sponsors. Yeah, we got some new sponsors. We have and, no idea where they are. Um, Man, I picked a really good number. People are having a hard time. Um, where are our sponsors? There. Let's see. Um, we don't know. It disappeared. Let's see. Um, Thank you for being a new sponsor. We know we have a couple. Open sponsorship and new window and. See, here we go. There we go. New sponsors, Brian Wagner. Wagner, thank We've you for joining us. We've got a super chat from Andrew Slovisek. Say thank you very much, I Andrew. I have no idea we what got that a, question um, is, We got a super Andrew. chat from Family Man. Thank you very much. Says, keep being awesome. Um, passion Painting and Murals. Hello from Green Bay, Wisconsin. He gave us a super chat. And then we got Ralph Emmerich. So from, thank you um, for joining us. The new sponsor. So the new sponsors, they need to send me their address so I can get them their coupon. And so we can and send so you our sticker. Live show. You get a 20% off. If you're a sponsor, you get 20% off your first purchase, your your whole entire purchase at our paint life store. So if you bought one two-edge knife, that would pay for your sponsorship. Yep. Pretty simple. What's there the mafia it. thing? Um you have to be a sponsor. You push the sponsor button. Somebody just asked. The mafia so, thing. So we have two winners. I think that's um, two we winners. got two winners. Premier Painting and Services, Tim Holderman. I think that's one. No, that, I that think might it's be two. two. Tim Holderman and so Premier Painting and Services. So you got to email us your services. address at How, how did they win? Show? Did they guess a number? What number yep. did you choose? Five. The number was five. And so, so John, um, you need John to email us. Five. 
see Scott, I work for a painting company in Southern California and learned a lot from Eat Hung Your Videos. I'm an apprentice. Um, I think Thanks for sharing, Scott. Scott Begg was on there. My Angels Painting Lopez, just kidding. John, you are the best, he says, kind of cool. Good. So um, email us. So yeah, it looks like X two. Yeah, it's two winners. And so, so and so the two new sponsors they need to email us also at live show at the dash Idaho dash painter dot com, and I will email you your sticker and your first discount. And then Thursday we're going to do the show at six p.m. and we'll send a notification out for that. And then we're going to have fun doing some giveaways. We are going to have fun doing some giveaways. Thank you very much, Sal Natoli, for um, a super chat there. So we're going to get going. What are we, we going to do? Dinner. <laughs> we're going to do dinner. Are you make dinner? We can go buy dinner. Make dinner. You're going to make dinner, huh? Make it's not dinner. Mother's Day no more? Not Mother's Day no more. No. no. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys very Thanks much for, for being, being with um, part of this crew. People, Community. People passionate about painting. That's what we're about. Paint we're here life. to educate, empower, and equip And we want to learn, too worldwide that's yep. what we're here to help help you become successful grow your business make money go to job a happy smile employee a happy businessman this is about it looks like cheryl just became a sponsor becoming a oh. happy um thank you very much cheryl for becoming I, oh, where you felt like you're part of the um, yeah, didn't know you weren't a paint life mafia member so yeah. um we appreciate the crowd we appreciate the support and we're here for you. And we're out.